max for us. We're pretty quiet through about 6.30, 7 o'clock or so. Then a few more of those storms are developing. We've got some heavier areas of rain. And for the most part, a lot of these storms are out by around 1, 2 a.m. We will have some drier conditions on the overnight. Still going to be very warm tomorrow. The big thing that you'll notice is that the humidity will be down. So we do have the severe weather threat, the slight risk by the Storm Prediction Center in Oklahoma. And for us, heavy rain again, a threat. We could have wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. We're talking about just a storm or two. Not everybody is obviously going to get the damaging winds and hail, but the Folks that do, obviously it will be a pretty big impact. Thankfully, the tornado threat is fairly low overall. Keep those devices on charge. And if you do have a vehicle and you can get into a garage, it's always a good idea to do that just in case there is hail. Right now, temperatures are in the 70s and 80s farther to the west. The evening planner as we go to six o'clock, still pretty quiet. We will have scattered storms out there at nine o'clock and maybe a few areas of rain around midnight or so. Later on in the night, temperatures coming down into the middle 60s, but storms again, a few of them could be severe during the evening hours, especially after seven o'clock. As we check out your seven day planner here over the next few days after today, we've got some dry air in place for your Tuesday and Wednesday temperatures nice and warm into the afternoon, a cool start Wednesday morning. That's nice and refreshing, but later on in the week, it's about the heat and humidity. Storm chances do go up. We'll have to watch for that potential for maybe multiple rounds of storms as we head into the weekend as those highs are into the middle 80s.